Hey guys, so I'm doing something a little different. Today I'm actually going to be going over how to program Moto Turbo, and I'm going to be doing it with screen recording. I figure that's a lot better than uh, your guys' comments about the shaky camera. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Radio Reference here. Go to Database, Frequency Database. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your area. For my area, we're just going to go to Jersey. It, the area that I'm going to pick is about 30 minutes away. Um, go to Ocean County. And for what we're going to do, I'm going to do analog. Analog is very simple. So we'll start off easy and then work our way up to a DMR. So if this will load, there we go. And now what's going to happen is ignore the ad first off. Second, we're going to go all the way down here to Six Flags Ray Adventure. It's in Jackson. Uh, as I'll, I'll sometimes get some signal here, sometimes not. But you guys are going to hate me for this. I already know. But I already have it set up. This is how my current radio is. But this is what you'll need to have already set up here. So, with that said, you're going to need Moto Turbo software. So, my version is version 16.0 build 828. Uh, this is last year's version. I know they have a new one called CPS 2.0. It looks a lot different and operates a lot different. Um, but I don't have that, and I don't really need it, uh, in my opinion, but... We're going to do is going to go to read radio once you plug it in, and in order to plug it in, you have to plug in the USB, turn off the radio, plug the radio up with the cable, turn it on, and then it'll pop up as a network actually. Um, on the little pop-up window down here that you get like a job alert stuff like that. Um, just press no to when it asks you the prompt to change anything. And then you press read, and that'll pop up with this window here. So, mile number, serial number, uh, frequency range, which is 403 to 512. Uh, that generally actually works pretty well. And then you have your general settings, which is where, I don't know why these are all popping up at the bottom, but you'll have your settings here, the radio name, which is what will be on the screen. Radio ID number, which we actually have to change to twenty-five sixty-one. Well, twenty, yeah, twenty-five sixty-one. Hello, private calls. Um, the rest of this doesn't really matter. Um, so backlight. And alert tones. If you want to disable all tones, you press on this and it will disable every tone on the radio. Your self test pass tone, that's the self test like on the XTS radios, except it will be a slightly different uh, tone. And then your talk permit tone here. I set it to both just that way I know if I actually key up or if I am keying up to begin with. And now we move over two buttons. I'm gonna go to. I s set this up the way I feel comfortable with it. For the radio I have, which is the XPR 3500, I do not have an orange button for mine, so ignore that part. I set mine to zone select scan. Now, for long price, you can set this to. 1,000 milliseconds, 1,500 milliseconds, 1,200 milliseconds. It's up to you. It's just how many seconds. So a thousand milliseconds is one second. So set that up how you wish. Uh, this one does allow text messaging. You can put a high. You can put one like 10.95. Or uh, you're know, like, hey, uh, just let me know your status. Okay, so you can 
uh, put in one of these, so I'm going to be on scene 1097. And what you can do is you can actually set one of these buttons to do a quick text message to someone. So, one touch access one. Set to digital. And then here, uh, let's just say general one I have. And, you're like, and so you set it right, group call. But you don't see a thing for the message. So here's what you do. Go to contacts, digital. Right click, add, private call. We're going to go to, let's say I want to talk to Sergeant. Uh, Sergeant Brian, and his ID number will be 626. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go back over to, not menu, buttons, my bad. You're going to go back to buttons. You're going to click on Sergeant Brian, private call. And it should pop up. Well, either way, you can go to contacts or you can go to one touch access. And once you go to one touch access, you can go and contact your sergeant that way and put, you know, 1097, 1095, whatever. You set your text message. At. Menu here is what we have on what you can edit on your radio. For here, I have almost everything enabled. So, you can choose what you want on which you want to edit. Uh, not too much on that. Now, signaling systems. Uh, if you use MDC, uh, we're going to rename that. So, my ID has to be four number ID or three. So, well, technically it's still four, but our ID is 5163. I can either do a short tone if you don't have the radio's talk permit tone. So if you don't want the little chirp and you want the long press for MDC, you put long, but you don't put the talk permit tone on, you put digital. And then what you'll do is for six flags, you put the side tone as a long and it'll have the long MDC tone, or the short beep for that. So, that's just something to remember, is if you have this set up for both, you cannot have the MDC beep. You can only have the chirp. It'll still put out your MDC ID, it just won't have that um, MDC long beep or short beep when you go to press the... Uh, push to talk button. A quick call, that's uh, two-tone. I just have my station here for our dispatch channel, digital emergency channel. That's if you're going to use it for your work and they have an emergency uh, system set up on DMR. And to see if you want to MDC call someone, uh, like unit 461. If you want to contact, if you want to alert uh, your station, if you're a dispatcher, you can. For digital is where you're going to put all your digital contacts. So you could do it through here, just click on digital. And then right click, add. All call is a 
my bad, is a call you're going to use. So let's say emergency announcement. All right, this will put out a s the number here, and it will open up all the radios on whatever channel you're using, as long as it matches. So, if, let's say Long Beach Island has a shared channel with EMS. Dispatch can put out an all call, emergency announcement, and they can set it so that way they say, hey, attention all units, attention all units, and they don't have to switch channels. So with that said, they can go, which brings us to the receive group lists. Or not. Okay, so, um, Long Beach Island does not share the channel with EMS. It's a different frequency. However, uh, it's for demonstration. So let's say they did share a channel and you want to scan both on that frequency, as long as they have the same color code and the same uh, time slot, you can listen to them. So with that said, you can have one channel for both, one channel for EMS, and one channel for police. And then you go down to your actual channel, uh, Ocean County Public Safety, rename, Long Beach Island scan. We're gonna add in two more channels. Digital channel, digital channel. And I'll go to EMS. So the cool thing about this is they're on color code eight time slot one no ars or ras which is restricted access system it's it's like a key to talk on it to begin with or even really receive um so the cool thing is let's say your work they operate on 464-675. Let's say they operate on that. You put your offset, which is 5. For UHF, at least. Um, within the four, uh, 400 range. In the 500 megahertz range, it will be a 3 megahertz offset. And to do negative offset, you put negative 5. And you'll have four or five done. And just to add, you just put five. Your group list will be scanned all along Beach Island. And since it's receive only, that's all you have to do. Just this part here. Um, however, if again, you're, this is for your work radio, you put in this, you put in offset for 08. Group list, EMS, EMS, no emergency system, emergency system, we don't use it. You won't have this pop up all the time, it's just me that I had it on for RAS. So, color code is 8, talk group is 1. And that's how you program a digital channel. And just for a recap, Here's, this is just for a recap. Go to contacts, go down to digital. If you want to create a group call for your work, it will tell you it's a group call. An all call will alert everyone on that frequency, on that digital system. And a private call is for that single radio. So my radio number. is 2561. If someone wants to contact me, 
they would go down to digital and they would put in for a private call. They would put it in as what did they want. So my last name officer it'll be and my ID is two six five one. And then they could go to their contacts on the radio, click that, try to contact me through the private call, and only me and him would hear our conversations go on. For an, for an all call, you could use it as an announcement or just regular announcement. Um, but it'll tell you single, all call, or group call. That's how you can tell with all the symbols. And the receive group is the groups you want to hear on that channel. So let's say there's four people on one frequency set, but you only want to hear example, LBI, I want to listen to both, but on hear them. The only exception is, of course, the all call channel, the announcement channel. That's the only exception where you'll um, hear anyone else. So with that said, that's how you program a digital channel. And I hope you guys have a good day.